Now, TBP is a pretty good map for Protoss in uh, PvT. We could see some Arbiters again, very possible. We could even see another Proxy Gate. We could indeed, and the man who would have to defend against all of that will be Rox X spawning here on the left side of the map as the Teal's Heron. And in the top right we do have the blue Protoss, the Enmax. So we've already seen some uh, some Protoss shenanigans here, are we going to see any more as Kix has suggested? Uh, I'm not sure how the first game went for them. Is this still the round of 32? Yes it is. So the first game that means was on Crossing Field and X was able to win that. Despite Crossing Field I think being slightly Protoss favored in this matchup. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know how how long the game went on as well, because usually the longer it goes on, the harder it is for Terran due to the fact carriers are so strong. Yeah. But the NMAX maybe didn't go for them, so I guess we won't find that out, <laughs> unfortunately. But I think realistically, if we were to look at Protoss openings on this map, we're very likely to see a reopening from DM Max here. There's so much base for a shuttle to fly around. Yep. It's, it's how uh, how Draco took out Firebat Hero, the legendary comeback game, the turnaround game. And wait a minute, this probe's actually coming out pretty quick. Hmm. But he's just going for the gateway in the main. I'm uh, I'm not actually a huge fan of the super fast uh, probe scout like this, unless you're on a two-player map, in which case you're bit you can be guaranteed for a gas deal. Like in the in this situation, obviously since a three-player map, um, if he scouted, if he if he won the coin flip and he scouted X first, he could potentially go for a gas deal. But in this case, obviously he's not going to be able to. So I don't think this is that good. Yeah, even then, I think because X got his gas pretty much exactly on twelve. I don't think the probe due to travel time would have made that in time. If he wants to go for the gas deal, I think he needs to send it about a supply or two beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we'll see what he... Oh, wait, he's actually going for a zealot first. He's got the second pylon already and no gas. Okay, so he... Interesting. See, normally in PvT, you don't, you don't make the first zealot unless you're going for some kind of super crazy DT rush or something, uh, and you want to block the ramp with it. But... In this case he has, and I don't think he's going for... Well, I guess we'll see if he goes for any kind of cheese, but normally this gas and the, even the core are built before the second pylon here. Kind of interesting sequence of buildings. Truly yeah, just getting like... zealous. Yeah. yeah, X is just doing everything completely standard right now. Interestingly, he did delay his marines in order to get the... Well, I don't think the factory came up any quicker, actually, so delaying the marine may actually hurt him a little bit, especially with this first zealot coming in. Yeah. Uh, but this probe, for some reason, is on hold position. Wait, how was that probe even on hold position? You can't even hold position a probe. How did that even happen? I don't... I'm not quite sure what happened there, but a second zealot has come out now for Dien Max is heading over to the... Uh, to the Terran base, so basically some Zealot pressure without proxying anything. Uh, we'll see yeah. what he follows that up with. I believe the uh, probe was actually attacking the Supply Depot. The Supply Depot has taken a little bit of damage. Now the important thing is Cryog does have this really nice wall, but against the Zealot pressure he really does need to make sure he's making constant rains. Oh, Zealot running in! Oh, not quite gonna get him. And another Zealot attack! Oh, these planes are both at one hit away from death. But nice control here from X, a fourth marine and even a fifth marine in production now. Not gonna not gonna overreact to make a vulture first. Knows that it's much more important to go straight for that siege tank. And now the second zealot comes in though, so now he's gotta now he's gotta be a little bit more careful. And move back. Uh, by the way, guys, just want to clarify, uh, you know, th this kind of zealot pressure is not necessarily uh, unusual. Oh man, it looks like one zealot falling, but, you know, usually this is from a proxy gate, right? It's very, it's, I think it's rare to see it just straight up from the gateway inside the main, but we are going to have a two-gate goon follow-up. And I think this is very strong on Tau Cross due to the lack of a ramp. Anytime there's a flat map, I think going for, like, two-gate goon is great against Darren. Yeah, it's a pretty good follow-up, especially given the fact you forced so many Marines, and so many of them are heavily bruised. As a matter of fact, it looks like you did kill the ones that were super bruised. He will force a Bunker to come out for X, and it will delay his Command Center even more. At four minutes, you usually want to have your Command Center up by now. He just couldn't afford it with the uh, constant Zealot pressure. His goon is getting a little bit stuck. 
Uh, sorry, Dianmax is getting a little bit stuck. His his gateway placement means that I, I think, or I'm not sure how that second goon actually got behind the minerals here, but he not only did he wall off the bottom side of the minerals, he's walled off like the top side above the geyser as well, so he can potentially create some weird pathing issues. But uh, I guess maybe that'll help later against vultures coming in. In fact, that actually would help against a vulture drop, so perhaps that's actually quite a clever placement. Um, in case this drops in the back of his main, for example. But here come the goons. Now, there is a bunker at the front. If goon range is done, then they should be fine. It looks like it's not quite done yet, so we'll have to wait for that before we can start shooting at the bunker. But since the tank is already out, I don't think it's, he's really going to be able to do that much. Well, he doesn't have siege yet. He went for mines first. Uh, I, well, at least I don't think he has siege. He's choosing not to at the moment, so this could do a little bit of damage. It's at least going to force a repair on the bunker. He does need to be very careful for those mines, though. Yeah, but you can even without siege the tank or the, even without siege mode, the tank does outrange the dudes. Ooh, this and the could dudes be bad. have to be careful. They can't just run in and snipe this because they know the spider mines are here. He's actually being so brave with this. Look at this. Yeah, he's just sitting just wait. There must be brains in that bunker, right? How is how's yeah. that top goon not uh -oh. in range of that bunker? Uh oh. That's Vulture insane. in the main base kicks, four kills, and taken down. Oh mine! Wait, what? Yeah, he lost the bunker. He was paying too much attention to the vulture. The three dragoons actually dived in. Somehow, like there was some really weird like vision uh, on the bunker, I think, because it wasn't attacking the closest dragoon. But still, it looks like uh, sorry X is going to be able to move out now, push back the remaining dragoons. But he needs to be careful not to overcommit. But we do see that six up on base coming up for the MX. Oh man, the super greedy third here. Uh, two gate robo into basically a third base. Oh my, eating another mine on the way back though. I, it's interesting how he's taken it. It's basically a hidden base, right? So, you know, going for the double expand in this situation as a, as a Protoss is not that uncommon. Uh, it's kind of like the greedy the greedy way to do it. Uh, although he actually is getting a reaver, so I say greedy, but going for a reaver is kind of the correct way to do this. It's the safest way to do this. But yeah, I, you know, normally you'd expect that to be at a close third, but he's taking it at the main. I think that's actually quite an interesting idea. He could even uh, pylon block or gateway block that, that choke if he knows that there are vultures coming down. Uh, so he can do like an emergency uh, emergency vulture block. But uh, yeah, otherwise it's looking, uh, looking not bad for, for both players, I guess. Yeah, it's all going to come down to the Reaver defense. If he defends against the Reaver well enough, uh, if he actually knows it's coming, he can't get a scout out. He does not have his academy up yet, so there's no scanners. Uh, this is going to be... I guess it can be kind of assumed, but he does only have the one turret, and that isn't going to help him against the, uh, I mean, the rest of his base, pretty much. There's just so many angles the Reaver can fly in. Yep. Um, but he does have a good amount of siege tanks. He's actually moving out now, so he could actually force the Reaver to be used defensively. And, you know, best defense is a good offense, as they say. So, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see how DMX uses this Reaver. He has actually just preemptively walled off this, uh, this area. I, I'm actually not convinced that this is a Vulture-type wall, because it looks like a very big gap on the top area there. It's, it's almost like that, that, that fail wall we saw, uh, previously from, uh, from Bishu versus Cryoc, where the Vultures were able to just run straight through on Circuit Breaker, but I'm not sure if that's the case here. Uh, but now the shuttle actually sees the units coming out. There's only two Marines here. Uh, four Marines, actually, never mind, as anti-air, but that's not a lot, and obviously the Reaver can't take them that quickly. How good is the Micro, though? He needs the Reaver to do a lot of work here if he wants to hold off this attack. Cool, how good is the target fire by X? He's actually taken down a Zealot already, but the Zealot does take out two Marines. This is actually quite a nice pylon position at the front. We'll eat some of the shots, but it's going to go oh, down. Oh, Debo! Everything is clumped! Oh, oh the Reaver falls! The Reaver, though. Oh, man, this is so bad. This is this is why going for that faster Nexus is is risky, uh, because you can die to very, very simple. I mean, it's it's only uh, it's, it's only a four-fact attack. I mean, this is, you know, this is very, very... Oh, the mine! Oh How my the God, heck that did mine. that mine not go out? That was so lucky. The vultures are in there attacking the probes at the natural. More, more and more goons are going down to the tanks, actually want, uh, wandering into tank fire. And I believe X may have done what he needs to do to bring himself back into this series. Oh man, this is uh, this is pretty much exactly what you want to do as a Terran player if you see the Protoss going Ooh, for this thing. Oh, those mines are risky though. He could get really badly mind dragged if there's some zealots in that speed shuttle. Yep. 
probably just kill those off himself. They're way too close. And that's the kind of move that can't turn the game around. But if it does, if it is going to happen, it needs to happen now. Because the Nexus is very, very low on HP already. It's going to die to just a few more volleys. He needs to go. He does have speed on the shuttle. So he can do a suicide run. He's actually counterattacking with the shuttle kicks. He's going to abandon his natural. Yeah, so I mean, the one thing he does have going for him is he does have the third base that is mining. He's adding gateways down there as well. And it's going to be very difficult for the Terran to actually push through into the main. Uh, maybe a little less so than on something like Circuit Breaker or Fighting Spirit with the ramp. But oh, man. still, uh, X needs to be careful. He could lose a lot of SCVs here. The Reaver is flying around in the natural. It's now flying towards the main base. There's only one turret at the bottom of the main mineral line. Look how much damage he's doing Eleven here. This kills. might have actually been the correct move after all. Yeah, the thing is, it's going to force X to stop looking at his push, and this is going to give the uh, impact a little bit of time. Well, wow, Mind Drag nearly kills a load of SUVs. Another good Scarab puts the Reaver up at 18 kills. 19 kills now, of course one of those or two of those were vultures, but there's just not enough uh, turrets to help, like, help him hold this. Wow, Dien Max, I cannot believe he's actually potentially coming back in this game, although he's flying a little bit close to the bottom uh, turret. Can he stop this turret from, from attacking? Wait, what the heck did that scarab bang? just do? It just went all the way around. What a bizarre scarab. Oh, he loses the shot over, oh, and the Reaver does go down. If that scarab hadn't just gone completely nuts and went around the top side, I think he could have actually killed off the turret and maybe saved the Reaver. But I love this use of the, the second main as a source of gateways, because now he, now he, I mean, he's kind of semi-contained, I mean, he's pretty much contained on the front, although he might be able to break out now, but he, even if the contain held, he could have potentially busted out from the bottom side, and here we go, the Siege Axe, oh, busy at the front, Reaper at the back. I think he's going to break this, there's just not enough units, and with all the units being forced back behind to defend, there's just no real way of him actually uh, continuing this contain. And of course, wow. he, wow, he actually has units over at the 9 o'clock, I don't think he realizes these are here. They just sort of sat there, not doing anything. They may have been the difference that could have helped yep. him hold that position. Do you think that's a miss rally, or he just like right-clicked on the minimap or something? It's such a weird position to have these units, right? Yeah, even as a rally, it'd be strange. I've not seen any units run over there, so I think maybe it was just a misclick. But there is another Reva in the shuttle again. How many turrets, realistically, does he have to defend? He's got a bit of a better turret ring now, so he shouldn't take as much damage. I mean, he also has the armory, so he should be able to make a Goliath or two, right, to deal with the shuttle. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure why he hasn't actually just made a Goliath as well to chase down the shuttle, but here we go, shuttle moving in yet again. He could potentially actually splash down some of these uh, these depots. If you target the, the inside one, as he's doing right here, you can actually kill all three depots with the same sar uh, Scarab Splash, but it looks like a bunch of vultures running into the main at the same time! There are. He tried to use that tank that was in the bottom right, he did find it. Uh, he's got four vaults in the main, they're killing probes, three probes have gone down so far, four probes. How much damage is he going to be able to do? I don't know, but it looks like the unit's coming in here. I think there were nine ten, or ten kills here uh, between all the vultures. One vulture's actually still alive, the Zelda AFK! And oh, the vulture actually doesn't finish off that one probe. But look at this, Reaver's killing all the- it's killed five supply depots. X is actually now supply blocked. He finally has two Goliaths to chase down the shuttle, but the shuttle has speed. He has no Goliath range, so the shuttle won't even take any hull damage, will only take shield damage as it leaves. He, there is another- uh, the natural being retaken now by Dien Max, and what an insane game this is, Kix. It is. X is most certainly behind at this point. He may have been able to come back in. He did kill the natural Nexus. But once again, this is a case of, I mean, Mikami says this to me all the time when I'm streaming. I may kill a Nexus for 400 minerals, but he has the other main. <laughs> and I'm still not sure if um, X has actually scouted this. There's more gateways being added down there. And slowly but surely, X is going to lose any advantage he had from killing all the early units. There's a tank going down there, Kicks. I have no idea what this tank is here for, but it's heading in the direction of this main base. No, is it going to go down there? I don't know. It's such a weird... It's like a scouting tank. What the heck is this doing? The, the shuttle's actually coming down, could potentially... No, he's not going to see the tank here. Is the tank going to go down there? What the heck is this tank even doing over here? Now, I heard a scan go off, but I looked at his vision, and no, like, no extra vision actually appeared, so I don't know if he scanned on his own units by maybe to kill... Maybe to kill an observer, actually. That was probably it. But there is still yeah. an observer outside the front of his base, so I'm not sure he managed to kill it. It's actually taken some damage, but not much. And very crucially, it provides vision of the move out here 
from X. That's a pretty scary tank count, but how many tanks is that? It looks like 10 C shanks on the field right now. Not nearly as many uh, Protoss units, but there is crucially that Reaver. Where did the Reaver go, though? I lost the shuttle. Oh, no, there it is. Now, the scans have gone down. They've seen the army of the Protoss move out, and he's seen the rally point. He knows there's not too many vultures right now, and if there's a time he has to... Okay, he doesn't know about the units coming from the bottom, though. And that is going to be a huge swell of units that he is not going to be ready for. I don't think he ever actually scored this third base. Oh, here comes the swarm of speed lots, though. He's going to drop speed lots and the Reaver directly on the units. The shuttle oh, takes some damage. The Reaver most down. likely is going to fall, but not before dealing a great amount of splash damage. Dragoon's actually getting stuck on the engineering bay, but it doesn't matter. The Zealots by themselves are enough to clear this up. And Dien Max completely smashing the first attack from X, and that means X will not be able to defend his third base either. X is in so much trouble in this game, Kicks. I can't believe it's turned out this way. I thought Dien Max was gonna die to that first four-fact timing. Yeah, this is why Terran, uh, McKemi said this to yesterday as well, like, this is such a fragile matchup for Terran. If you make one big mistake, like, you miss one crucial scout and you can just die. We yep. saw this in the game with Cryok as well, not seeing the DPs coming. And I mean, he's got two tanks, it's not really going to be up, and Mind Drag actually takes both of them down, and he's got no units left. Sick Mind Drag there by Dien Max. He saw the mine there, he knew he could drag it, deliberately moved the Zealot forward to trigger that mine, and the Dragoon's now walking in to the natural expansion. The SCV is coming off a little bit too late, not in time to block. There's a third Siege tank, but the SCVs are on the wrong side, and GG from X. Dien Max evens up the score one to one against X, we are going to a deciding game three here to decide which player will advance to the round of 16.